So what is going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another video on the channel where what I want to do today is take a look at all of the zombies maps that we've had over the years that have taken inspiration or big parts from multiplayer and campaign maps. We have plenty of original maps in Call of Duty Zombies that you won't see anywhere else that were specifically designed for COD Zombies. Shadows of Evil, Zets of Onishima, Map of the Dead, we know the Troyok team specifically went to Alcatraz in San Francisco and completely mapped out the island themselves to recreate the prison as closely as they could for Zombies. So while Zombies does have a lot of original maps, it also has a lot that were originally campaign and multiplayer maps and then simply turned into Zombies ones, especially in the earlier days. World at War a little bit in Black Ops 1 and then after that as zombies grew as the budget became bigger as the team creating this mode became bigger that meant they had the ability to create their own maps but in the earlier days they didn't and even later on as you'll see Troyok kind of went back to their old ways the earlier days of creating a Call of Duty zombies map so I thought it would make for an interesting video to take a look at zombies maps that were either campaign missions or multiplayer maps to see how different they turned out to be. So back during World of War, as you would expect, every Zombies map that we had in that game was taken from either the campaign or multiplayer, and actually even the multiplayer maps in World of War, a lot of them were originally campaign missions. Call of Duty during that time was a lot simpler, but Nactar and Toten was reused from the multiplayer map Airfield, which was also reused from the campaign mission Hard Landing. And if you compare the two side by side, they're pretty much identical. The only big differences that you notice is on the campaign mission, some of the walls are fully open, whereas on NAC they've been closed off, but other than that, the layout is completely the same. Of course, windows and barriers where these zombies can enter have been added onto the NAC map, along with other zombie-specific features such as the mystery box, wall weapons, etc. But when it comes down to the layout, the whole playable area, this bunker itself, was a campaign mission, and I will say this is not a bad thing, because zombies during that time was literally nothing. Troyok didn't have the ability to create zombie-specific maps, but also they did a really good job. Nacta and Toten, I think, feels quite a bit different to a multiplayer map. They've made it dark, grungy, it fits the tone of zombies. So for what it was, especially considering how small Nacta is, just taking this small bunker from the campaign and using it as a full zombies map, Troyok did well to make it feel more than playable. And this is what kickstarted Call of Duty Zombies. Verruckt was also taken from the multiplayer map Asylum, which was also taken from the campaign mission Ring of Steel. Similar to that, the layout is pretty much identical. All I can see they've done is, again, closed off some walls that were originally open, added zombies features. I will credit Troyok here and say, to this day, this is still, for me, the best horror map we have for zombies and to think well this was originally a campaign mission a multiplayer map it wasn't made specifically for zombies a lot of the assets here wasn't supposed to be horror themed yet somehow truck managed to make it feel like a scary horrific map the fact that this is still considered by most people the scariest zombies map ever is credit to the truck zombies team being able to turn this map into what it was with very limited budget and developers being very restricted. Shinonuma was also a campaign level, Semperfy. I think this one is the most different compared to any other World at War map, because as far as I can tell, the main area, the Big Hut, and all of the surrounding ones as well where the perks are located are original and unique. It mainly just reuses the assets, whereas, you know, the Nact building itself was in multiplayer and campaign. The Verup building was in the multiplayer and campaign. It's the same for Doris, but the main buildings in Shinonuma were completely original. It's just because it reuses assets and those assets are very specific, having the Japanese swamp theming. You can tell it comes from the campaign mission Semperfy or the multiplayer map Makin or Makin, however you pronounce it, I've never known. But yeah, because of that, I would actually say Shinonuma is an original map that was designed specifically for zombies and i will say that before i carry on i'm not going to talk about maps that just take assets i want to compare maps that you can tell were taken from the campaign and mp and turned into zombies to see how well Troyok did making that conversion so actually shinonuma is a pretty original map which for world at war is impressive and that brings us to the final one on this game Doris, which is the mp map nightfire or the campaign mission eviction the mp map nightfire is a lot bigger than the playable area in Doris, so for that reason i don't think they feel too familiar although you can tell just by looking the lighting was drastically improved for zombies the world of war maps were made a lot darker again i presume to fit the zombies tone but considering this is for me a top 10 zombies map of all time i would even say on the right day it's a top 5 zombies map to know that at one time this was a multiplayer map a campaign mission doesn't change how i feel about it because they did such a good job whilst they haven't changed a lot they added the teleporters the packer punch to make it feel more zombified and it is kind of crazy now that we've had games like vanguard zombies which we'll come on to to see 
how well multiplayer maps can fit zombies to see how a map that was designed for multiplayer, designed for PvP combat, can play perfectly well as a zombies map as well. Because when you think about it, normally the layout on a multiplayer map is designed so you can take cover from other players, whereas on a zombies map, well, you're not taking cover from bullets, you don't really need to take cover from zombies, you take them head on. So the design of a zombies map compared to a multiplayer map or a campaign mission would normally be different, but to see a MP map fit zombies so well is credit to the multiplayer team and the Troik Zombies team for making it feel like a zombies map. We then move on to Black Ops 1, where I would say from here on, maybe the first couple of maps, the Troyok Zombies team started to grow, their budget started to grow, and the mode as a whole wasn't really this bonus game mode anymore. It was beginning to become its own thing. And so this meant as we progressed on throughout the years, the Troyok Zombies team could start to create their own maps without having to be given what was handed to them. So the first map, Kino de Toten, is completely original to zombies. I mean, yes, there are assets that are taken, but as far as the layout goes, it's completely original. Five, which I would consider a bonus map anyway, was taken from Black Ops's campaign. It reuses parts from two different missions, USDD and Rebirth. If I'm not wrong in saying, I think the top two floors come from USDD and the bottom level, the laboratory, is from the campaign level Rebirth. The layout is pretty much identical. So yes, this is a campaign mission. You kind of can't tell. Maybe it's because the Pentagon is a good location for a zombies map anyway, and it's a real life location. So even if the Troyok Zombies team made this themselves, the layout would still be the same because it's based off the Pentagon. Ascension is probably the most noticeable. It is the multiplayer map launch or the campaign mission executive order. I think about half of the layout is the same, whereas the other half is unique. But I think Troyok did a great job at making it feel like a zombies map. For me, it's one of the best ever. Call of the Dead, I think for the most part, is original. It uses assets and elements from the campaign level Project Nova that they both take place in Siberia. The ice theming got a similar looking crash ship, but Call of the Dead is a completely original map when it comes to the layout. It's the same with Moon. Besides from the starting area, which is reused from the MP map Hangar 18, Moon is an original map and it's the same for Shangri-La. Any map that I don't bring up is original. In Black Ops 2, that became even less. There was only one Zombies map that was reused from the MP or campaign, and that was Nuketown Zombies. And actually, I would say this might be the only Zombies map that was supposed to be a multiplayer map. That was the whole idea of it, because Nuketown was a fan favourite. We'd seen it return in multiplayer two times by this point, and Troyok wanted to turn it into a Zombies map, because everybody loved it. So that's exactly what it was supposed to be. It wasn't Troyok being lazy. It wasn't them just reusing assets for the sake of it, or reusing the whole location. That was what it was marketed as, and it worked. I wanted to play a zombies version of Uketown. They knew that, and that's what they gave us. But besides from that, Transy, Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, Buried, Origins, all completely original maps. You could say, I don't know, parts of Transit. We saw the Nacht building implemented in there, and of course, assets are going to be reused. But as far as them being designed layout-wise, specifically for zombies, they're all completely original maps, which was a huge jump if you think about it. Black Ops 2, I would say, is the game when you could tell zombies was now at the next level, when the mode was getting its own original maps. We then had Black Ops 3 Zombies, which follows pretty much the same line. We had the giant, but the whole idea of that was for it to be a remake of Darice, of course, Darice being based off the campaign level eviction, so you can't really count that, and every other map is original. Whilst they use assets, Darice and Draka takes some from a campaign mission, I can't remember what it was called, Zetsubo, Garod, all original, Revelations, the whole point of that map was to take parts from all the zombies maps. So all of Black Ops 3 zombies maps were original. Black Ops 4 then came along, which for the most part continued this. All of the Chaos maps are original. It's hard to say the same for the Ether maps because they are remakes of all the maps. So we have Blood of the Dead, which is Mob of the Dead, Classified, which is 5, Alpha Omega, which is Nuketown, Tag the Totem, which is Call of the Dead. So all of these maps we'd seen in Zombies before. A lot of this was down to Troik's budget being cut, also having Chaos side by side, whereas normally we might have two Zombies maps on day one, which could mean they would be completely original. On BO4, we had four Zombies maps, which took up a lot of Troik's time and meant we couldn't get new maps for the Ether side. But I suppose when you look at it, the amount of Chaos maps that we got on BO4 is usually the amount of maps we get on a Zombies game anyway. Nine, Voyage of Despair, Dead of the Night, and Ancient Evil. All completely original, but then it changed when we got to Black Ops Cold War Zombies, because whilst the first map, D Machine, I personally would class as a zombies map. It does include Nactor and Toten, the building, which is 
a significant portion of the map but to be honest it's never really an area that I play in either you go on the rooftop which wasn't a playable area in the original or you never really go in the next building at all D machine to me feels like an original map but then everyone after that firebase C the starting area comes from the campaign level fractured jaw to be fair the rest of the map was designed for zombies but the starting room before you teleport is a campaign mission the next map Mao the Totem, is the campaign level brick and the wall and if you just compare the two side by side it's pretty obvious again yes there are some differences but I've always said since playing these in Cold War that the maps in this game don't feel zombified enough like the atmosphere is almost missing for example we go back to world at war where pretty much all of those maps were campaign multiplayer maps but they felt like zombies maps still Troy did a good job transforming the atmosphere whereas the cold war maps firebase c milder Toten, forsaken still kind of feel like multiplayer and campaign missions the maps in this game were just missing something like the layout with them being campaign missions just didn't quite fit zombies compared to world at wars or black ops ones and that was one of my main problems besides from d machine with all of Cold War's maps. And well, that continued in Vanguard because we had Duran Fang, which is the campaign level Operation Tonga. I don't really want to talk about this game too much because I still find it um, very disappointing. You look at Duran Fang and you can see, oh wait, this is the multiplayer map Red Star and Hotel Royal. Hardly any effort was put into transforming them into zombies maps. We also had Terra Maledicta, which was a little bit more unique, but still very plain. You could tell it was the multiplayer map Oasis. The Archon is the exact same. We did have Shino Numa, but yeah, zombies taking multiplayer maps and campaign missions and reusing them isn't my problem because Drought did such a good job with it in the earlier days, World of War, BA1, Black Ops 2 with Nuketown. They then started to create their own original maps for zombies, but then ever since Cold War, Vanguard and Modern Warfare, they've gone back to reusing multiplayer maps and campaign missions, but I don't feel like they've done a good job in turning them into zombies maps. The atmosphere isn't there, the tone isn't there, the layout doesn't feel as fitting to zombies as World at War and Black Ops 1's campaign and multiplayer maps did. Maybe that just says something about newer multiplayer maps as a whole. But yeah, so there we go. And like I said, our latest zombies game, Modern Warfare, the map is the Warzone map. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.